If lifestyle is what matters most to you when moving to Las Vegas, you might want to watch this video. I'll be talking about a very exclusive community today that I've lived in for the last 12 years. And I'm going to share with you eight things that I think you should know before making the decision to move into the ridges. We're going to be covering a lot of material today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this entire video because I hope by the end of this video, you will know whether or not the ridges is the right community for you to buy in or not. The Ridges is located in the heart of Summerlin and can be easily accessed from three different exits on the 215 Beltway. The exits that you can use are Sahara, Town Center, and Flamingo. And it is very conveniently located right next to downtown Summerlin, where I like to go to do a lot of my shopping and all of my nightlife and eating. It's about a 10 minute drive to downtown Summerlin, which is a mixed use mall and includes flagship stores like Dillard's, Macy's, and Lululemon to name a few. There's also a few fitness facilities there where you can work out. There's a grocery store, a small market grocery store that's called Trader Joe's. And then there's a few miscellaneous businesses throughout such as UPS store and, and things like that. There's also some office space there. And my favorite part is the nightlife that us locals love to frequent there. There are restaurants like La Neta, that is a Mexican restaurant and bar, and that's got really good nightlife. There's Jing, another hot spot for nightlife. And then my favorite place to go to eat is Harlow Steakhouse. You have to try the caviar tacos. They are amazing if you do go there. The Ridges is known for its location, its exclusivity, and its beautiful desert contemporary architecture style that you'll find throughout its custom homes, which is probably why so many elite residents of Las Vegas call the Ridges home. The Ridges is made up of 14 individually gated communities behind its guard gates. Within those 14 communities, we have nine custom communities, four semi-custom communities, and one luxury townhome community as well. There are two HOAs in the Ridges. You must pay Summerlin South dues, which is $55 a month, and then you have a Ridges HOA, and that dues varies upon which subdivision you live inside of the ridges. But for the most part, you can expect to pay about $450 a month or so for your HOA dues, and that includes Summerlin South and your ridges community dues. The HOA dues that you pay, of course, covers the guard, the roving security, and all of the common grounds but it also covers Club Ridges, which is accessible to all of its residents. And when you go to Club Ridges, what you could expect to find is some group exercise classes, a full fitness center, two swimming pools, one lap pool and one leisure pool, a few tennis courts, a couple pickleball courts, and one basketball court. But my favorite part is the big grass field that's adjacent to the clubhouse where many people go there to throw the ball with their dog or I've seen kids do soccer practice there. I've seen some family do picnics. So that's one of my favorite parts of the Club Ridges amenities. There's no charge to its residents to use Club Ridges unless you'll be utilizing a personal trainer or maybe if you're playing tennis and you have a tennis coach um, there's a charge to be on a tennis team, and I believe they also have some Pilates classes where you have to pay for the Pilates instructor. But other than that, Club Ridges is completely free and it is covered by all of your HOA dues. The luxury townhome community actually has its own clubhouse and fitness center. And that's why when I said sometimes those HOA dues are different depending on which neighborhood you live in, because each neighborhood has a little bit different of an amenity. You know, I love to bring you the good, bad, and the ugly. So I'm going to point out some good things and some bad things about being a golf course community. Bears Best Championship Golf Course is intertwined amongst the neighborhoods within the ridges. Having the golf course isn't the bad thing because the golf course can bring beautiful views and it also can bring equity into your property. But Bears Best 
is a public golf course. The reason why I'm telling you this is because some people believe that all golf course communities are on private golf courses, making them more secure. But when you have a public golf course that's intertwined in a community, you have to remember that there's access from the public 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even when that golf course is closed, which can be a security concern for some of those moving here. I think the best rule of thumb is to remember that it doesn't matter if you're behind a guard gate or even a mechanically operated gate, you are not protected 100% from crime or break-ins. I'm sure it deters them, but it definitely does not keep you immune from ever being exposed to crime. In case you're new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Lisa Lopez and I'm a Las Vegas native. I'm a real estate consultant that specializes in luxury real estate and I have a passion in helping families families just like you achieve the American dream of home ownership. For more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Another very important thing I think you should know before moving to the ridges is that there is absolutely no cell service. The entire neighborhood, with the exception of maybe one community, Promontory, there is no cell service. Everyone complains about it. The people who come to visit me complain about it. The residents complain about it, contractors complain about it, but we have never been able to come together collectively as residents and agree upon cell towers. I don't understand why, but I just find it very strange that amongst all of these executives and professionals that live in the ridges, we have not had the ability to carry a phone conversation from home to office or office to home. You'll, it's really funny. When you come into the ridges around five or six o'clock in the evening as everyone's coming home from work, you'll see cars randomly pulled over on the side of the road trying to finish up their phone conversations before they start hitting all the dead spots. So it's been a pet peeve among a lot of the residents, but they finally did about six months ago, they agreed on a contract and they should be getting cell towers inside the community. But they said it probably won't all come together until probably the next 12 months or so. If you can imagine how dangerous it could be having no cell service with most people not having landlines, with Cox Communications pretty much being the only landline phone company, as well as your internet company, it really can get scary when you have an emergency. We've literally had three days where we've had no internet, no Cox television, unless you have DirecTV or some other satellite, no telephone. What do you do if you have an emergency, if you need to call the ambulance, or if you need to call the police? I was actually going out into the middle of the street to make phone calls to my children if I had to sometimes because it's that bad. There's just absolutely no service. So that's definitely something to consider if you're moving here and maybe you're a physician or you really have to always have access to your cell phone. Something to remember is that the ridges is actually nestled up against a mountainside. So there are all kinds of different wildlife that you can come across. And some of them are great and some of them are not so great. I've seen some of the coolest birds here and I've even seen a couple owls in trees, which I didn't know we had owls in Las Vegas until I lived in the ridges but we do and they're really cool. One of my favorite things to see happens around the spring and summer months and it's all of the quail. We have tons of quail in the ridges and that must be right after mating season because they're having all their little babies. So you'll be driving through the ridges and you'll see like a mom and dad quail crossing the street with 10 of their little tiny babies and they're so tiny they start out like this big and you just kind of watch these families grow over the months until the babies are almost full-size quail but the most interesting thing about it to me is how they protect their babies they always cross the street very freely but 
the mom and dad, one of them always kind of hangs back and make sure all the babies get across the street. So it's really cool to watch. It's just one of my favorite things. I don't know, maybe I'm a dork, but I really enjoy watching the quail when it, when it comes time every year. But of course, with every good thing, there has to be a bad thing. And the wildlife in the ridges definitely has some scary things to it. So aside from all those pretty little birds and the cute little bunnies hopping around, we also have a ton of scorpions. We have a large amount of coyotes and bobcats that are regularly roaming around the neighborhood. And when I say they're roaming around the neighborhood, there can definitely be times that it seems like you are in a wildlife park. I remember when I first moved into the ridges, I would see a coyote from time to time while I was out running the loop, but nothing that ever really scared me. We had a lot more open land that wasn't developed yet, and those coyotes would kind of stay away from me. And so I would just keep running and they'd run alongside me and then they'd disappear. But now I've experienced some really crazy things. I've experienced coyotes right on the sidewalk next to me while I was walking my dog. I was also chased by a pack of coyotes with my dog. So there is an abundance of wildlife out here and you should really be aware, especially if you have small animals. I've had packs of coyotes jump in my yard, my backyard. I've had bobcats, I wanna say two different times in my backyard. And I've even seen a bobcat carry a bunny that was as big as my 13 pound dog up the golf course fairway right past two golfers or two sets of golfers and walked right by them like they weren't even there. So I think the more we populate the ridges, the less scared those animals are of us. Sometimes when the bobcats have their babies, it can be really tempting when you see the baby to try to take pictures or get close, but you need to remember that there's always a mom somewhere really close when you see a baby, and those moms are not nice. They will attack. They'll take your dogs, your small animals. I've even heard that you have to be careful if you have very small like infant children that are just kind of outside, maybe in a bouncy seat or something, because they're really quick. And they will jump in and grab your loved one or your puppy and and go and they will definitely be gone. So it's definitely something to be aware of and it's not something to be taken lightly, especially if you have a fear of different animals like that. So when you live in the ridges, I think it's really important to remember that we moved into their environment. And sometimes those animals can be really scary to some people, but clearly not too many people because the last time I checked, we had 31 resale homes one resale lot, and I just saw today that the Ridges released the very last piece of land available through the Ridges community. I'd love to know what you think about the Ridges so far. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, with all of that wildlife in our backyard, there are tons of outdoor activities that you can take advantage of when you're a resident in the Ridges. Like I mentioned earlier, the Ridges is home to Club Ridges, which you can take tennis lessons there, you can swim, there's the park that you can go and play with your children or your pets or whatever, and each individually gated community also has its own park. So there's essentially 15 parks within the Ridges gates. One of my favorite things about living here in the Ridges is the access to the trail system right behind it. It's, I believe, called the Bears Best Trails, and they are essentially miles and miles of trails that have been carved into the mountainside where you can either walk, hike, bike. A lot of people take advantage of these trails for mountain biking. I believe a lot of them were actually carved by a local group of mountain bikers that went out there and hand carved the trail system but it's really pretty, it's amazing, and you can use it for, like I said, walking, jogging, hiking, you name it, it's really pretty. What I really also love about the Ridges is that behind its guard gates, you can literally go for a three to 
four mile walk or jog without ever leaving the community at all. And this is super important to me because I like to walk my dog super early in the morning, like 5 a.m. And in the winter months, it's really dark at five. So it's nice to me to know that I am behind that guard gate. And yeah, like I said earlier, it doesn't prevent crime, but it does add an extra layer of security. And it does make me feel safe that I don't have to leave my community to go for my run or to walk my dog. And I don't have to walk in circles over and over and over. So I really do love those facts about the ridges and the outdoor activities. If you've stayed with me this far, thank you very much. And I've saved the best for last, at least in my opinion. You guys know I love sunsets and the ridges offers some of the best sunsets in my opinion. My last house that I lived in, in the ridges, which was my first house in the ridges, it had some of the most pretty views. It was on the golf course. I could look left straight up the fairway and see the sunset behind Red Rock Canyon. And I could look to the right, right down the fairway. And I would see the Las Vegas Strip and the sunrise. So I had the best of both worlds and I absolutely loved it. I don't know what it is about the sunsets against Red Rock Mountain, but it makes the sky some gorgeous colors. The sky turns red to orange to pink to blue, and it just looks amazing. I don't know if it's the reflection of the red mountains and the sun, but it really is amazing. Trust me, you have to experience it. If the ridges is something that you're looking into, come experience a sunset out here. They really are worth seeing. And of course, there are some people who prefer to see only the city, and there are some people who prefer to actually only see the mountains. And then there are some people who don't even care about a view. But I promise, no matter what you want for your view or not, there will be something that you find in the ridges that you can fall in love with. If you were to ask me my top three favorite things about living in the ridges, I'd have to say the first one is the scenery. I love how beautiful it is as I drive through those gates to come home. I get to drive through these winding streets with big mature trees, lots of greenery, beautiful valleys that run right up to the mountainside. Then you have the grass fairways of the golf course too. The second thing would be the parks and walking trails because I love to go for walks with my dog. And the third thing would be it's close proximity to everything that I need in my day-to-day -day life. We are literally seven minutes from everything. We're seven minutes from the closest grocery store to downtown Summerlin, which is where I do most of my shopping and dining. And also all three exits and entrances to the 215 Beltway, which makes this community super accessible and convenient to live in. I hope you enjoyed learning about the ridges. I know I enjoyed inviting you into my neighborhood and making this video for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. And if you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas, make sure you check out this video on the screen. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.